morning earthlings <coughs> just stepping off the road from Agua Dolce spent last night there after a short 10 mile hike from Acton RV Park over the mountain to under the highway through to Vasquez Rocks to Agua Dolce Vasquez Rocks was pretty amazing uh, saw that famous outcrop that's on a lot of sci-fi a lot of TV and movies that's quite good um, pretty spectacular geology really good um, today I've got five days of food on board three litres of water just gonna hike next destination is hiker town resupply there and then got the Mojave Desert section coming up which is just the bottom left corner of the Mojave Desert but it's gonna be hot we're back down out the mountains now anyway so it's pretty hot again uh, nice warm night last night though um, yeah so next few days are gonna be getting to Hiker Town and then making a plan for getting across the LA Aqueduct uh, Hmm. Looking forward to lunch already. <laughs> Be stuffing my face after my uh, my brief scare with the fatigue and weakness. All right, so uh, I'll get some video. Take you with me. Let's get 20 miles in today. Feeling strong. No blisters. I've only had one blister this whole trip. 500 miles is coming up. I'm going to be really happy to get to 500 miles. I feel like that's a good, great milestone to have hiked an unbroken footpath of 500 miles. I'm really looking forward to that. All right, let's get back on the trail. Just stopped. Um, I'm wondering if you can hear the power lines crackling. It's quite a great sound. Energy. Um, camped at mile 474 last night um, camped with two others uh, starfish and wanderlocks wanderlocks have been hopscotching for a while and since whitewater preserve uh, so I hiked there all day yesterday that was good uh, starfish you see all the time up and down up and down the trail uh, so this was our little camp spot they've both started hiking already I'll just give you a quick view just sheltered straight off the trail trails just at that little tunnel there uh, no plan today except get 20 miles in um, first four miles at our next water source which is Green Valley Fire Station 
I've got two litres, got four days of food. Back on the trail. All right. <clears throat> about three miles out from camp so I've been about 17 miles today but uh, we've been hiking I've been hiking with Wanderlocks all day um, I've been hiking through these burned areas I mean, there's a lot of burned areas in California um, but it's really interesting in these little valleys here um, I'm going to turn you around and show you Look at all these dead trees and with new growth at the bottom and then you look at all these wildflowers growing here the wildflowers at the moment have just been amazing look at the trail it's just lined with wildflowers and all this was burnt i don't know it can't have been that long ago really now i mean summer's coming there's going to be high drought there's going to be forest fires all alongside all the way up the trail uh, there might even be closures, there were big closures last year. Um, and while we'll be moaning about, oh, we're going to find an alternate, we're going to have to road walk. There's going to be people evacuating from their houses, so... There's big changes on the PCT in the last few years, apparently. Um, going to see what it's all about, I guess, in the next few months. Alright, 500 miles tomorrow. It's going to be good. All right. Earthlings, we were at Upper Shake campsite, which we hadn't intended to come to because it was all the way down in the valley. We were going to camp up on the ridge, but it was so burnt out and blasted, it was just awful. And there was ash blowing everywhere in the wind, and the wind was picking up. So we decided to, um, when I say we, as me and Wanda Locks, just put she's at the tent over here behind. There's Wanda Locks. I was so glad we got down here, it's so, such a nice uh, wooded area. The campground has been abandoned, it's uh, part of the LA forestry, but it's been abandoned and we were just saying it's probably because of the fires, because you can't visit in an area for three years um, or so. It's lovely down here, there's picnic tables, there's a creek, um, but it's run down. And we were just saying it's like an episode of The Walking Dead where everything's just a bit abandoned. Those few years it's been abandoned, like the everything's sort of falling apart and creaking. There's been no upkeep upkeep on it. Really nice sight, had a really good sleep. Nice bird song this morning. I could hear the wind roaring overhead up above on the ridge. But the trees weren't even moving down here. So yeah, it was a good spot. So, three miles to 500 today. And I'm not sure then how far it is to hike a town to resupply. And then eventually another two days to, to hatch a pea for a day off. All right.
you got to say about this 500 mark <laughs> they, they, they don't <laughs> how many 500s have we come across in the sand so far like 10 10 is 10. at least 10 there's at least 10 500 Stones, i don't know where sticks, the actual 500 really carved is. carved in the sand we don't know where we are what we're doing are we at 500 are i think we we've done 500 like 10 times now on the gps what does it say <laughs> it says 502 <laughs> We've gone two miles past 500. Oh my god, there's 500s everywhere. But we're going to count it at the monument. There's like a concrete pillar. Is that where we're going? Supposedly, yes. Stop there for snacks. And yes. we won't sing the Proclaimer song, right? Konnichiwa, Earthlings. So, the monument burnt down in the fire. Um, all those gullies and valleys we were walking around, part of that fire two years ago, I think, three years ago. Uh, <clears throat> so, change of plans. We're going to try and make it to Hiker Town tonight, which is another 12 miles from here. There's no water between the last source and here, so we've got three litres on board. Uh, we should, think we should get there by half six, seven, something like that. Uh, this stretch is nice. Um, so I'll give you a little quick scan. So I was going to say something, I'm going to have to edit this because I can't remember what I was going to tell you. Uh, oh, we might be catching up with Marta, Lara, Jack and Sabrina. Maybe Hobbs as well, Hobbs is behind. We also got spread along the trail a little bit due to uh, injury and <coughs> different fitness levels really people are getting fitter and stronger at different rates <clears throat> and it'll be a mistake for me to try and keep up with the 25 year olds uh, I'm 49 by the way um, so we might catch them all up at Hiker Town which would be great all right see you there sorry forgot to say what Hiker Town is to be honest I don't actually know that well myself I've got some image in my head of Barter Town from Mad Max 3 or something like that. But uh, Tina Turner will be there waiting for me in her chain mail. Uh, so I think it's some kind of compound for PCT hikers, uh, campsites, toilets, uh, some food. But hopefully, going to be able to resupply down the highway from there. So yeah, that's Hiker Town. Okay. <laughs>